And we are back with another flashlight review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Raylite Pineapple in copper. Of course, copper. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I think I'm long overdue for a ray light, especially the pineapple in copper. Uh, I was actually just looking at flashlights and like I normally do, uh, me and No Mercy, we, uh, we talk about flashlights a lot. Uh, and uh, he pointed out a light, the ray light, the pineapple mini that was on County Com. And I pulled that up and then it suggested the Raylight Pineapple. And I was like, oh man, uh, I've been looking at one of these for a while. And uh, I decided to pull the trigger on it. So I ordered this, actually, I ordered this from County Com. And it was, I think, $72 before any kind of discounts or anything. I think I got like 15% off or something like that just for creating an account there. And it also came with this Pro Charger. Uh, for the 14500 battery that comes with this so uh, we'll take a look at that too but I really want to get into the light first I have been waiting to uh, open this I've had it for like a week now and today is the 31st yeah, you probably won't see this video today this will probably be a couple days out but uh, I, I've oh man I've been working so much I just haven't had time to open it and it's it's been killing me um, just because I want to check it out so bad so couple o-rings you know I'm a big fan of that you get your ray light sticker which is cool and nothing else in the box and I'm, I'm a fan of the plastic packaging I think that's a nice touch rather than just a normal box so here she is vacuum sealed like normal not as cool of a vacuum seal as like that uh, that foiled drop light that I opened uh, let's see yeah that's not so bad to get into alright alright <laughs> I'm so stoked to check this light out the weight feels good it feels it feels nice button looks good got a tritium slot there we'll, we'll, go, all, we'll go over all that stuff here in just a second let's uh, let's get into the normal routine really quick so we are just shy of four inches, roughly you know, three and three quarters, maybe a little more. Um, and then as far as the weight goes, let's see. Yeah, 4.2 ounces. Uh, I knew it, it feels pretty heavy, but that's one of the things I like about copper. So uh, this is kind of a bigger light, which I like. So here you go next to an i5R and we'll put a i3T up here just to give you a couple size comparisons there with some O-lights and then um, we'll do the Baton 3. There you go. Christmas edition. It's Christmas all year, every year here. And then we'll do Warrior Mini Eternal. And how about the Baton 3 Pro Max? There we go. And just for good measure, we will... Mm, let's, uh, let's throw in the Ace Beam. There we go. Just so you can kind of see for all the Ace Beam boys. There we go. So I like, I like the size. I am a fan. Uh, get this stuff out of the way. All right, so here is your Raylite Pineapple Mini. And I can already tell, man, I like this a lot. The clip has good retention on it. I'm, I like that. There's your tritium slot. It is a clicky button, so we'll get into that. And this is the LED. So this is the 4000K uh, Nichia 219C, the high CRI which I've been saying in my videos, man, I've been a fan of that lately. Um, this light does come with a lot of cool little uh, features. 
like reverse polarity protection, temperature control for like overheating. Uh, the lens itself does have an anti-reflective lens. Here is your 14500 battery that it comes with. I'm hoping we've got some kind of charge on there. So uh, we'll, we'll definitely be checking that out. Oh yeah, man, everything on this looks super solid. I've seen a lot of videos on ray lights and I just haven't pulled the trigger on one yet. And this is also supposed to have, uh, maybe, oh, let me put the battery back in. <laughs> I didn't even realize there's your little uh, potato chip. Looks like it fell out of the light. So uh, I didn't even check. I know the, the Pineapple Mini comes with a glow ring. Does the full size Pineapple, we'll hit it with the UV light for just a second and does it kind of looks like it does hmm maybe not oh no it is my lighting's just too bright it does it glows there you go you can kind of see it in there so that's cool Dan told you man I'm gonna use this all the time <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Dan for that one. So this thing has a lot of a lot of functions. Um, I'm hoping this thing starts on mode one, like it says that it does. Uh, if not, it does have to where you can change all the different modes. Uh, I probably won't do that. I don't. I don't know. Well, I'll go over how you do it. Uh, you notice it didn't come with an instruction manual. But it is once you once you've done it a couple times, it's relatively easy. I tend to stray away from reprogramming my lights because I like as long as the standard mode comes with moonlight, I'm happy. So click turn her on, and it looks like it does. So here is your moonlight. This is 0.2 lumens, and this will run for 20 days. And then if we go to low, your eight and a half lumens for 31 hours, and then mid is 90 lumens for two and a half hours and then your high mode is 470 lumens for uh, like it's like an hour like 58 minutes I think they say um, so you can once you turn the light on like see we don't have a momentary but once you turn the light on you can cycle through just by like momentary tapping and you can jump straight to the end um, just by double clicking and that'll send you straight to high mode. So I like this light so far, man. Uh, and it does have, where's the HCRI? There we go. So let me get it on high. So here we go. It is, oh man, that's a nice beam. Yeah, it's more of a warm white even than the HCRI. Oh, it looks like it anyways. Mm, I like it. It's definitely not your, uh, let's see, let's pull out my Warrior Mini. I have it in lockout mode right now because I promised Dan whenever I'm not using it, I will use lockout mode. And uh, there we go. So you can see here, here's a cool beam next to your array light. Oh man, the, emit, the, the emitter on this guy. God, use your words. The emitter on this is so nice. It's, it's such it's such a nice beam. It really is. So if we do my Olight, here you go. You can see here, nice beam, nice color. And then we will do the ray light. Oops. <laughs> so here is the different colors in beams. I really like that beam, man. Ah, oh, what a nice light. I don't know why it took me so long to pick one of these up. I like everything about it. The, the, I'm going to have to get a tritium. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to get a tritium vial for the back of this guy. Uh, just, just because just, just to have it. So let's talk about modes for a second. So with, with the modes, if you turn it on, see, we can see that it's on. It's just on that really low moonlight. 
and then it's eight quick taps to activate the memory function. And then once you are on the memory function, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so see your blinks. There you go. So the first blink will be um, moonlight, 2%, 20%, and then 100%. The second blink is moonlight, 10%, 40%, 100%. Third blink is moonlight, 2%, 10%, 50%. And then the final mode that you can turn this to is moonlight, 50%, 100%, strobe, and SOS. So um, that's, and then to select a mode, really all you're gonna do is just tap on it, and then that will put you in your mode. Uh, I'm not going to change the mode on mine right now because I do prefer to have, you know, just the just your standard Moonlight to 2010 or 100, excuse me. So I'm not going to change the mode on this guy right now. Um, but that that's all you do to change it. Turn it on, quick tap eight times, and then there is a readout. It does the blink, flash, blink, flash type thing, and then you can just select your mode. So really not terribly complicated. Uh, that was one of the things I was worried about because I don't, I'm not a, eh, I, I shouldn't say I'm not a huge fan of programmable lights. I just, I feel like it, there's a lot of extra unnecessary, but it, it does make sense. If you don't ever use moonlight and you use your light and you just need like 30%, 100% or 50% and 100% um, or just like 100 and strobe. So, I mean, that you know, and you can program these lights to those type of things. So that makes, I mean, it makes sense. It's, it's really not a bad thing. Um, you know, this is just one of my first that I'm actually playing around with. So this is the USB battery charger that comes with these lights whenever you order them from County Com. And I don't know what else. Okay, here's your, your USB-C charging. And then here you go. Gives you a nice little readout. The box itself is nice. Uh, I don't really see a brand on here. That looks like a logo, but I don't, I don't know. So, instruction manual, just the universal charger, just gives you the skinny. And then USB-C to USB-A, which is totally fine. And we're not gonna dive too deep into this. We're just gonna take a look. Actually, I already have a, here we go. I already have a USB-C hooked up here. We'll plug this in, there we go. We'll get the light up and let's see here. We'll go ahead and take this off. I like the recessed tail switch because this thing can stand, tail stand. There we go. And then it'll charge. And you just hit this little guy right here to change the amperage. Um, does this say, does not. I didn't really look to see what this light was. It, it's supposed to be a smart charger, so <laughs> you'd think it would just pick it for you, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's going. Cool. Yeah, so this this uh, battery came with a little bit more than fifty percent, so I'm cool with that. Uh, I do have a charger that I use for my lights. I actually have it right here on the side. Uh, I use this charger a lot. This is for my bigger light or my bigger batteries and stuff. I have one charging on there now that I'm going to be using for an upcoming video. <laughs> hint, hint. Light that I've been waiting on for a while. So, uh, one last thing to talk about with this Raylight. There are some cool upgrades that Raylight offers that you can get for this. Some cool little different pieces, bibs and bobs. One of the things though is this pocket clip. So with the pocket clip, if you wanna run this, no pocket clip, you, you can, but it does need this on here so that the back tail switch, uh, the assembly right here, the back tail switch assembly, uh, makes full connection because that's just how it's, that's how it's threaded, that's how it's made. So on Raylight's website, they do sell a, uh, it's like a just a replacement little metal ring that will fill the gap and then you can run this no pocket you know no pocket clip if you want to 
So just just quick note, uh, aside from that, I'll post a link to this guy in the description below for anybody who wants to check it out. It looks like Raylight, or not Raylight, excuse me. Uh, they're sold out on Raylight's website. It looks like County Com still has some available and it's just an overrun special. So they're not gonna be there forever. So if you wanna pick one up, I'll uh, check out the link I'll have in the description. County Com, they won't be there long. So uh, run over there and pick you up one. I love it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. We're hitting the 15 minute mark. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and uh, consider subscribing. I try to post content as much as possible. And thank you so much for being here. I'll catch you on the next one.